Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on the Cold War sniper rifles, and we're going to be talking about how to get the best bullet velocity and how to actually speed up aim down sight time. This has been one of the bigger issues that a lot of the snipers have been dealing with with these specific weapons because you could equip any of these rear grips and they don't work. I've tested that, shown that in videos. We're not going to be talking about that. There are plenty of other ways to speed up your aim down sight time as well as reduce the recoil with the individual snipers, which we're going to go ahead and take a look at all of that. If you enjoy the video and learn something new please do me a favor hit that like button if you're brand new want to find your way back double check make sure you are subscribed hit the red subscribe button turn notifications on let's go ahead and get into it so the first thing what i needed to do is get a baseline bullet velocity i did all the different various testing so i could see what we're looking at with each of these sniper rifles and how they compare to the hdr and the car 98k obviously the spr is kind of in the hybrid in the middle there but overall, we're kind of looking at where these weapons will fit into the meta. So if you guys happen to watch the bullet velocity video, you know I went through and I tested bullet velocity for pretty much every attachment. Um, and when we get to the sniper rifle section, what you can see right here is the base. And then when you put on the extended, but then I also added the wrapped. And despite what it says in game, the wrapped actually helps like the monolithic suppressor will extend the bullet velocity for each of the, the weapons. So that's the Tundra, M82, and the Pellington. The max bullet velocity you can get on these weapons sit around 1145 for the Tundra, uh, 851 for the M82, and then we have the Pellington, which is 1064. So pretty even there. So we can have a little bit of a comparison to what the current meta or modern warfare snipers are. I went through and I got the max HDR bullet velocity, car 98, and the SPR. And you can see that sits at 1100. 961 and then 994 the spr is just a little bit faster but the ads teams are right here for fully decked out you can see kind of how those sit right here 593 for the hdr which is close to 600 round 400 for the car and 527 and you can see that the spr kind of sits in the middle a little bit on the slower edge but that's kind of how it goes so then i set out to test ads attachments i already did it for the rear grips identified that that's on twitter um that i posted kind of showed that but i went through and did this for the tundra 617 ads with the wrapped in combat so i kept that because obviously all of your loadouts will have that in there because you're going for max bullet velocity i got 617 we went through all of these grips and nothing changed until we went to the speed round so if you whether you want to go with the seven round mag or the fast mag that's not going to impact your aim down sight speed it's still going to be 617 if you go with the speed mag or higher it's going to be much slower so i would not recommend that and it's going to be important adding extra rounds because with the weapons the way they currently are broken there's going to be an extra attachment slot you could either equip nothing or equip a seven round mag to get extra bullets or reload a little bit faster. So now we go through the tactical stocks and we can see that nothing really changes. The Raider stock was like a 3% difference. I think this is a little bit of frame rounding. It's probably 617 or borderline. And, and these numbers are so small that you would not notice. Then we have steady aim. Um, and then we go through and we go through and we go through. And then where things change up dramatically, um, you can see even the five milliwatt jacks up the ember sight jacks up the ads speed but then we get over here to the optics i tested and this is particularly important and i'll explain why in a quick second we tested the 3x 4x 2x 6x 2x by uh up to 20x and you can see the ads speed tanks for these ones and these negatives are a good thing is they're faster so 567 567 567 let's go back up and look at the hdr it's going to be about 30 milliseconds faster, two frames faster than the HDR. And you're like, well, I'm not going to use a 2X or a 3X. What's going on here? Yes, you will. If you happen to catch my video comparing specific optics, the Pellington and the Tundra, they were measured at 45 and 46 pixels, the optical zoom. If you look at the Cold War 4X, it gives you 44. So it's going to be perfectly in line with the Pellington and the Tundra. Obviously, if you wanted to use something closer to the M82, there's not really an option. You either go with the 4X, which is a little bit less zoom, or the Cold War 6X, which has a little bit more zoom. Uh, there's not really an M82 option to speed up the ADS time. But if you wanna go with the 4X, it will be faster by like 50 milliseconds. And this carried over. I thought, you know what? Maybe it's just a Tundra. Let's go check it out for the Pellington. So we have the testing here. You can see I went through and tested for the wrap, the front grip, the infiltrator grip, the patrol, the bruiser, the, the bipod. I went through and tested everything. You can see it all here. I went through and I tested and I tested and I tested. 
Um, pretty much everything, no matter what I tested, if we looked at the wrapped, it starts right here. And how you start the measurement of time, if we go frame by frame, what's going to happen is you're going to see the mount pop up here. Mount pops up. And then when you're fully aimed down sight, you can see it says hold steady breath. 617 millisecond, right? So that's what we're looking at here. Hold for steady aim. That's how we know when we're fully ADS, right? So let's go back over here. And now we're going to do the same thing for the 4X on the Tundra. I'm going to show you how to get a nice optic on the Tundra. Um, if you already have them on the other, there's actually, the game's all bugged. So there's easy ways to do this. So right here again, Tundra. Now we're using the 4X, which has pretty much the same zoom. You can see the mount. We go in, we fully ADS. Look at when it pops up on screen, 551. It's like halfway in the frame right there. Hold steady aim, 667 or 567. And that is 50 milliseconds faster. Did the same thing for the Pellington because I'm sure those Car 98 fans out there are going to want to try something different. So here's the Pellington. What we can see right here is on screen, it shows that the mount appears at the 17 milliseconds. Then we're looking for when it pops up on screen, 467. You can see it says hold breath right there. See it pops up, 467. So it's kind of like a hybrid between the Pellington and a hybrid between the car 98. So this one's gonna fit in there for the car 98 users. It's not gonna feel as slow and you're still gonna get the same zoom that you're used to. You can hold your breath. And the best part I haven't even mentioned yet, when you go to a 4X, there is no optical glint with your sniper rifle. So not gonna see you peeking from the window. This is pretty broken in my opinion, but let's go ahead and go a little bit further. There's still more. So we're slowly building out this class setup. So you're gonna have a fast aim down sight sniper rifle, which we really haven't had. It's gonna be faster than the HDR. Obviously it's still gonna perform like an HDR in terms of bullet drop is negligible. Bullet velocity is solid. Um, but one of the issues I ran into is I didn't use a lot of the 4X, right? So I don't have a lot of the reticles. So I go over here, they're all locked. Oh, what am I gonna do? They're all locked, right? So what we do is we go into attachments. If you want any optic of the other ones, what you do is just go to a 3X, which you, most of you guys have been using with your DMR or 2X, go to customize, change the reticle if you wanna change it to one of these other ones. And then since they share the same reticles, when you switch this to the 4X, boom, we have the reticle here unlocked. Works out perfectly. And you can see I don't use the 4X at all. I only have five kills with it because I'm not a fan of it. But I get this nice clean optic and I don't have to do all that craziness to do it. Um, so pretty much this is going to be my go-to. Um, instead of the HDR, I'm going to be messing with it more. Wrap suppressor works. Bullet velocity, you can definitely tell the difference. Combat is going to give you the best bullet velocity. And as we saw, we can go with the seven round mag. Um, or we can go with the fast mags if we want a little bit faster ADS. You can see reload is a little bit slower at the seven round. So you get that trade off, but you're going to hold seven. Uh, maybe when you get fit zone. Now let's go ahead and talk about the recoil. We're going to have one attachment left. Laser, we don't really need. Stock, we don't really need. Let's go ahead and get into the last one, which is the recoil one. For recoil, I went and I used the fastest firing out of these. And that ends up being the M82. Um, what we could do is we could fire at the wall. Right here with the M82, we'll fire at the wall. Pretty straightforward recoil pattern. Um, sometimes a little inconsistent depending on the idle sway. I had people bothering me, so I had to do this test like three different times. But when we get over here, we can check out the bipod. You can see all these recoil patterns. Now let's look at the bipod. I was like, ah, uh, maybe that's a fluke. Let's go ahead and try it again. It feels like it's too little bit. No, oh, what the hell? Look at how tight that is compared to these other ones. I was like, something's off. Let's try it again. You can see the recoil pattern change. In terms of how big that recoil pattern is, huge difference. So here it is. We're going to be using this one with the, put, uh, with the bipod. Um, and that's going to help. We don't have any issues with ADS speed on that one. And pretty much this is the go-to class setup. And this is the identical one I would run on the Pellington. Same thing. We're going to use the bipod. We're going to use the cross. And we're going to use the seven round or the fast loader. You could use whichever one you want. And then we do the same thing exactly for the M82. That's it. Three class setups. And these are the fastest 
ADSing class setups with bullet velocity. Obviously, I could take off the barrel and the wrap suppressor probably be a little bit faster, but then you're not going to hit shots. So either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, learned something new. If you did, please do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're brand new, looking to find your way back, double check. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Appreciate y'all supporting the channel. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.